There are two kinds of strokes that people suffer from. One is an ischemic stroke, which is a blockage in the brain, and the other is called a hemorrhagic stroke, where there is a bleed in the brain. And I think people would be surprised to find out that there are very few treatment options. The current lead treatment option is a blood thinner or a surgical alternative where a catheter is used, but about 80 to 85% of patients will not qualify for these treatments. One of Elginon's lead programs is the investigation of a known psychedelic drug called DMT. The preclinical research data is showing that the drug is effective to help neurons grow and make new connections at a sub-psychedelic dose. Cortical neurons, when exposed to DMT, showed both neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the making of new connections and that's something that brain cells need to do, especially when they're undergoing repair after an injury. And based on the preclinical data, Algenon is hopeful that DMT will help stroke patients with their recovery, causing their neurons to create these new connections. Algenon's business model is to move drugs into phase two trials as quickly and as safely as possible. Phase two trials are the moment of greatest inflection that a pharma company, a development company like Elgenon can experience. About 50% of phase two trials are successful. And because stroke is a global problem, the market for a new stroke treatment is significant.